In January 2021, the internet was taken over by yet another wonderful music trend, and it's all thanks to this seriously cool dude who posted this video on TikTok. Once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was a belly of tea. The winds blew up her bow, the turn of below my belly boys blow. This video took off like wildfire, and everyone fell deeply in love with sea shanties, including myself, who listened to them pretty much nonstop for the first half of 2021. And then I thought to myself, we should use AI to write lyrics to our own sea shanty. No one had done that yet. Right, Thomas Bayes? I don't know about all that, Daniel. But for God's sakes, man, stop filming in 4K. They can see your crow's feet. I approached you a couple weeks ago uh, about this project. I introduced it as, hey, we had an AI write lyrics to a sea shanty. What did you think of that at the time? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I would I have to admit my eyebrows went up. Sprung out of ambition far, well, now that the Germans have Bon Jovi. I'm joined by Daryl here, uh, who's one of our fantastic partners with Gravity AI, who's um, been very active on the platform, uploaded a number of models uh, to distribute out to the community. Earlier this year, there was kind of a trend that took over uh, for a little while there. Um, have you ever heard of sea shanties? Sea shanties, huh? I don't believe I've heard of it. I mean, <laughs> is it like sailing sailor songs? Sailor songs. Yeah, they're usually like about alcohol and grog and, uh, you know, uh, sailing the seas. It's like what they would put together to like work on the boats with. I kind of really started to enjoy these things, and they have hilarious lyrics. Uh, what would you say to helping us build AI-generated sea shanty lyrics? <laughs> oh, that's super interesting. Sounds like fun. Okay, okay, sea shanty. So a few things popped into my mind. The, the big one was, this is probably going to be fun, because uh, every project I've done with Dan has been fun so far. Uh, the other, I think the second thing I probably thought was, how do you write a new piece of music based on a form that is hundreds of years old and not really a current form? I, I at least was not aware of anybody writing new sea shanties. So I was, uh, I was immediately thinking this is going to be at least somewhat challenging for me, which is good. I like challenges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard on the beach or she moves too slow. Hey, I'm uh, back with Daryl on our normal check-in. Uh, Daryl, we were uh, we've kicked off building that sea shanty. Um, how's it going, man? Like, what what have you guys been working on? Um, what, what's uh, what's the status update on it? Well, uh, Sabika and I have been working together closely on getting to generating the data we needed for the sea shanties. Uh, so far, Sabika's collected a found about a hundred or so uh, sea shanties. Most of these sea shanties have lyrics, but there are a few of them that, that only contain instrumental songs. So like probably like 70, 77, 78 sea shanties that we could then, we could use for training a, uh, a model. The best uh, approach out there would be using GPT-2. GPT-2 could be easily fine-tuned to actually uh, generate sea shanties. Awesome. Yeah, uh, we're here, you know, obviously we've heard a lot about GPT-3 coming out. That's like invite only. We uh, were on the waiting list and we uh, got access, but, um, you know, GPT-2 is, that's the one that's like available to the public right now, right? That anyone could use? Yeah, so GPT-2, it's a, the best way I could explain it in layman's terms is a language model. And it's specifically designed to basically, given uh, a body of text, what GPT-2 tries to do is try to predict the next word. So it tries to, it, it knows how to, based on a certain context of words uh, previously seen, it can actually predict the next word in a sequence. So um, one of the reasons why I would recommend GPT-2 is because it actually saves us, saves us a lot of time 
from having to train our, our, our whole model, our own model to do this. Because obviously you know, probably, probably know the act of training a, a model, like a neural network can take a lot of time and effort. And uh, using GPT-2, we can actually do something called um, fine tuning, which is basically uh, using, uh, applying transfer learning. And what transfer learning is, is basically you take a model, some take something, a model that's already been trained for one task and actually using, adapting that model to do another task. So since GPT-2, this is a model that's already trained on thousands of millions of text online, we can easily take this model and then fine tune it to uh, work on a particular type of text, in which our case being she sandies So uh, you agreed to do the project and uh, I got you over just a raw text file that had come pretty much straight out of uh, the AI. We used a, a, an AI tool uh, that was created in the open source community uh, called GPT-2. They have since released GPT-3, which actually produces much less nonsense in language, in, in human language. Um, but we used the previous version, GPT-2, sent you the lyrics. Uh, what did you think when you saw those? So, yeah, as you described, uh, there was a lot of material there, and it was a little bit like trying to decipher, I don't know, a code in a way, but then again, also not. That's probably not the perfect analogy, because I think what the real thing was, okay, how about, how about this? How about a word search? It was a little bit of a word search, because there was just a lot of text there. So... The truth is, uh, at least in my process, and I've heard many people echo this, the hardest part is getting started. That is the hardest part on a, on a new project. Once I get started on something, then it's like I'm just taken off. Like I, I, I just took off the runway and I get all excited and way into it. So I admit with this big giant bunch of text, all of this was a novelty to me because I've never done a project where I worked with AI before. Uh, so I, I had to look it over and think on it and kind of maybe, you know, take a few hours, take a little break, <laughs> go go for a walk, come back, look at it again and think through it. And I mean, at least in my process, and I think part of this was probably informed a bit by the fact that I had seen some content before, not music, but I had seen uh, some videos and scripts that had been written with AI. And I, my immediate thought was, I've got to find some of the humor in this. And it turns out it wasn't that difficult because the AI generated some hilarity. Um, but oh, I also I wanted to, to dig out the pieces that felt somehow real and natural too. So yeah. I, I was trying to walk the line between those two things. So Sabika, who is a data science intern working with us, as you said, like found a bunch of these sea shanties, uh, you ran an initial set through GPT-2 um, and um, uh, had a chance to look at some of the lyrics. What, uh, what, how do you feel about that kind of initial set of lyrics today? Yeah, so the initial set, set of lyrics, um, they definitely look like sea shanties. <laughs> um, but upon closer inspection of the lyrics, it looked, it looked like they were closely, some of the generated text was really closely related to some of the source material that was used to train. So what I would will now do is I'll actually um, do some parameter tuning. Uh, there are some parameters with GPT-2 that we use basically tune um, the randomness of the model. The sampling, it's very close to the source material, but we can actually tune it so it, it actually will randomly select words that are not necessarily from the material. So we'll be able to get some much more random and you know <laughs> spontaneous results, which is I think one of the things we were looking for when we first chatted about this. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, it, it kind of seemed like it kind of seemed like it just mixed and matched chunks of uh, the initial version here, mixed and matched chunks of, you know, sea shanties that existed, like full sections. So, yeah, you're right. We, we want to try to make it a little bit more, um, yeah. a, a little further away and a little more randomized from the actual sea shanties. So it doesn't feel like we just mixed and matched from the sea shanties. <laughs> We'll be partying with the Gorgonzola. We'll be partying with the Gorgonzola. Obviously, we had, as you said, like a lot of content, and you had to sift through it. So, um, 
in some ways, uh, while the, none of the content uh, I know was, was changed in its truest form, but we did, you did have to go through a process, right, to like structure it and like order some of it, right? That's it. And that was, that was honestly, that was both the most challenging part and the most fun part when I almost look back on it in a way, I think. I think fun because it was new. It was a new thing for me to work that way. Um, well, I have worked on numbers of songs where I just start with a completely blank slate. That's one process. I've done something like with your company that uh, you used to run, where I had at least some prompts, but I still got to choose my structure. So in this case, going in knowing I wanted to preserve as much of the AI's text and keep it in its form, that that was the part that was challenging. So what it became to at this point was kind of creating a puzzle piece thing of sorts. I was picking out and highlighting lines that really stuck sure. out as I've got to fit this in there somehow. And of course, not all of them are gonna eventually make it, but you first kind of, you know, iron out which ones are great. Then it's a little bit, move it here, move it there, move it here, see if that works. Okay, repeat that. We've got a little, uh, we've got a stanza. And because of the nature of um, shanties, they're, they're actually quite repetitious. Yeah. So I was again, walking a fine line between give it something catchy that people can walk away kind of singing or chanting almost and and but also fit as much of the material that is so hilarious or or just <laughs> solid into the song so that yeah that that was what i it almost felt like the bulk of the work was doing that actually. right right did you uh I, I have a favorite line that you can recall off the top of your head yeah definitely um so there were there were a few favorites but my very favorite has to be now that the germans have bon jovi i just want to know what was in the computer's head when he came up with that i yeah yeah i'm i knew that one was going in i'm with you like where does it how does it come up like why did it do that you know, because it bases, uh, uh, it, you know, we fed it, um, you know, hundreds of sea shanty lyrics, and that's how it ultimately came up with these, right? Based off of it. Right. So is right. somewhere in one of these sea shanties, like mentioning Bond? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, uh, it turned out amazing, man. And I couldn't be more Thank happy you. with uh, how silly it is and how well you performed it. So uh, again, man, thanks. Thanks for taking the time on it. and glad you enjoyed it. Always. I got a wife in Louisville and another in New Orleans And when I get to Shawnee Town, gonna see my Indian queen yeah. Hard on, on the beach or she moves too slow Way heyin' up Oh, one more pull oh. and that'll do Way heyin' up I said to her, you native girls, pop our thrifty she says to me, you native gals, pop are thrifty. Yeah! Hard on the beach or she moves too slow. Way hey and up. Oh, one more pull and that'll do. Way hey and up. You who must make a living as a papa for the land, you call to the net the world. If you make a living as a parson, you make a living as a parson. Yeah! Hard on the beach or she moves too slow. Way hey and up, oh one more pull and the old way hey and up. We're in the mood now, Joe, and we'll floaty like the locals, Joe. We'll floaty like the locals, Joe, and we'll still be true to form, Joe, and we'll floaty like the locals. Oh, the Spanish didn't have a right to rule The golden willow was some wild goose That sprung out of ambition far Well, now that the Germans have Bon Jovi We'll be partying with the Gorgonzola We'll be partying with the Gorgonzola We're in the mood now, Joe And we'll floaty like the locals, Joe We'll floaty like the locals, Joe And we'll still be true to form, Joe And we'll floaty like the locals 
captain's daughter sat down at the main top mast. She was skinny and thin and fastidious. She took the captain's daughter and sped away. Said, this is the galley of cruelty. And the captain's daughter takes the stand. And she says, a dear old friend. We're in the mood now, Joe. And we'll floaty like the locals, Joe. We'll floaty like the locals, Joe. And we'll still be true to form, Joe. And we'll floaty like the locals. We'll floaty like the locals. We'll floaty like the locals. Up on the Tory line The fair ones are coming back to Baton Rouge You can give him a shine I met with a pretty young lady My heart was free And I bopped her rum And I sang a happy song She said to me A gin, Johnny We're surfing the road, boys A sound that no one else can hear My work is finished My praise is due I'll go out in all weathers, no time for beer. Oh, hey, a.k.a. The rose is up on the Tory line. The fair ones are coming back to Baton Rouge. You can give him a shine. Oh, hey, a.k.a. The rose is up on the Tory line. The fair ones are coming back to Baton Rouge. You can give him a shine. Oh, you can give him a shine. You can give him a shine.